Hi guys, this is John Adamson, the Rehab and Documentation Guru, sitting outside on a beautiful September afternoon. Uh, my son's at soccer practice, and I thought I'd make a video. And this is related to a question I got from um, a Su Sukudo Shaw. I know I'm butchering your name, and I apologize. Uh, but the questions were basically this. How, first of all, what are the changes that are coming up with PDGM, which is patient driven grouping model for home health, and how will that impact documentation, more specifically PT documentation? And I'll tell you, for the most part, it should not impact it much, if at all. Um, let me tell you what's going on with PDGM. So, right now in um, home health for PPS, you are paid according to a, a HERG. One of the things that the HERG payment is based upon is how many therapy visits there are. Come January for home health, the incentive to um, get paid based on the number of therapy visits is going to go totally away. And instead there are going to be other factors that are going to be utilized to determine the payment for a patient under home health. So there's no longer incentivization for home health companies to provide more therapy visits. The same thing is going on basically with PDPM for SNF. But there are some things you might want to consider for documentation. Number one, uh, right now it's not so much a factor, but come uh, January you're going to have a primary medical diagnosis upon which uh, part of the payment uh, determination is going to be made. But one of the things that some people aren't aware of is there's also going to be part of the payment model will be, be based upon comorbidities. And if you've been to my course, I talk about how a therapist can show the relevance of comorbidities and other diagnoses through the measurements of underlying impairments. So one thing to keep in mind as a therapist is to consider the patient's not only primary diagnosis but also other complexities and document their findings accordingly. So for example if you have a patient with diabetes um, think about the diagnosis and think what it means to underlying impairments. Things like sensation, uh, things like balance, coordin uh, coordination maybe not so much, but think about how that diabetes might impact the patient. Vision, vision assessment, um, especially if you have a chronic diabetic who might have diabetic retinopathy. So these are the things that I would think about, about as a therapist and want to document carefully my objective findings to show the possible impact on comorbidities. As far as um, other components of documentation, well, part of it is justifying your frequency and duration of care in home health. So how often are you seeing the patient and for how long? And right now, like I said, there's incentivization to keep patients on caseload for longer based on the different HERG levels that you, you get paid more at certain tiers of therapy visits. Um, come January, that's going to change. It's going to go away. And so um, companies are going to probably de-incentivize therapists in some ways on keeping patients on caseload. Um, there's going to be pressure to perhaps reduce the number of visits for certain diagnoses. Certain diagnoses are no longer going to get paid for, uh, for home health services. So these things might impact the frequency and duration of your care. But here's the thing. Medicare has said very clearly that patient care must continue to be specific, that if your patient needs 10 visits now, come January, they're going to still need 10 visits if they have the same condition, the same age, the same diagnosis. In other words, these things should not change just because a payment model changes. And, and that's the biggest takeaway from the changes with PDGM. So uh, therapy documentation should look the same as it does now, still proving the medical necessity of care. Not only at the eval, but each and every single visit that you're doing, are you showing that what you're doing is skilled? And I've covered a lot of videos on documenting skill, so I'm not going to go into that right now. But uh, your therapy documentation probably should look the same come January as it does now. Anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, thank you for the question. And uh, feel free, 
feel free to like and subscribe and send me some more questions for future videos. Take care, God bless, and have a good day.